Hey, this is Chris, and I am putting this channel up because I want to inspire people, motivate people to get involved in aviation. And in an environment like this, it's hard not to be inspired. I'm sitting here at the Wilton Air Center ramp in Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, it's just a electric atmosphere. Jets all over the place, airplanes in and out, King Airs, corporate jets. Um, I looked up the uh, numbers on on flightplan.com and found out there's five. There's only five general aviation transit airplanes per day. That's what I am. There's 56 movements among the general aviation aircraft that are based here. Air Taxi 112. 441 commercial flights a day and four military. Um, all the indicators I'm getting is that aviation is just going to continue to pick up in the next three to four years. The uh, increase in the demand for professionals in this field are not going to increase uh, at a linear rate. I hear it's going to be more exponential. So for people that are thinking about getting involved in the field, um, I would encourage you to do it. It looks like the next 10 years will be maybe economically better than the, than the preceding 10 years. All right, anyway, let me get to the point of the video. So I just landed. Whoa. I don't know what just happened. Camera froze up. Um, all right, so we just landed and took on fuel. So I'm going to update the uh, Shaden fuel totalizer. And I want to talk about the difference between a fuel computer, fuel totalizer, and a fuel gauge. So first off, I'm going to turn on my avionics master, my battery master. This is the only time I do this. But when I'm sitting on a ramp like this and I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to move the airplane, I'm going to turn off the anti-collision lights. I've got no lights on outside of the airplane. That way, nobody's going to look over here and see a beacon and think that I'm about to start up. I'm coming on with the avionics, and you can see the fuel gauges come up here and they indicate full, which is what we would expect. Now over here we got the Shaden uh, fuel totalizer, and now this thing is very accurate at figuring out the rate of fuel flow. Uh, what it's not good at doing is figuring out how much fuel's in the tanks. You have to tell it. So it'll always be accurate if you tell it what it is. So if I'll reach up here and I'll look at the gallons used. We used 111.5 gallons on the flight over. That's helpful um, to keep track of because you can get really accurate numbers for your fuel economy um, over the course of several different flights. So if you'll make a note of that and then look at the, the flight times, uh, your time en route, uh, you can start to get a real accurate picture of what your fuel burn looks like on different legged, uh, different different length routes. The, typically, the the shorter legs are going to be uh, going to have a less favorable fuel burn, and then the longer legs are going to uh, you're going to see a better fuel economy. Um, by tracking that, it's, it's a good way to get a real real accurate picture. Alright, now we're going to update the fuel totalizer. So what I'm going to do, if we were going to top off, uh, you just hit full enter and it will put uh, 166 gallons, which is what our maximum fuel is. So that's the max fuel load. But we didn't do that. We didn't take full fuel. Uh, we didn't need full tanks for the, turn, the trip back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this over to the add try to do this with one hand. Let's see. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Alright, so we're going to go add, and then we add. And so I'm entering the uh, total, the number of gallons that we want to add. So this will take just a minute here.
70. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my gallons remaining, 54.5. We took on 70 gallons. So if you add 70 to 54.5, you're going to get 124.5. So that's, that's what we think is in the tanks, or that's what we know is in the tanks. All right, we've added 70 and enter it. And then bam, we've got 124.5. So now when we hit gallons remaining, 124.5, gallons used, zero. So we're set with a fresh load of fuel, the accurate load of fuel, based on what's in the tank for our next leg of the trip. And uh, so, so it works great. It'll tell you the time remaining. It'll tell you the gallons remaining very accurately. It'll tell you how much fuel you've used. But it will only do it if you update it, and you need to update it every time uh, you take on fuel. Um, and that's how the uh, shading uh, fuel flow indicator works. Thank you.